So, I just thought I'd show you a little project that I've had on the go um, for a couple of weeks. Um, this is a XKR lovely late model X100 manual gearbox. Um, Swallows Racing got in contact with me about um, they've they've sort of um, developed a a CNC pedal box that goes in there to add in an extra pedal, um, and they're having this um, surround trimmed nice to match so that you can have a, a proper manual XKR. So, but they were a bit stumbled by the electronics, so they wanted to lose this old girl, the old Denso um, ECU. Uh, and they wanted to go and get a modern ECU. So that's where I came in. So I made a little link loom. Goes between the original connector. So there's no cutting or anything involved. Just plugs in. Um, made use of pretty much all of the, um, uh, you know, all of the sensors on the engine already. Um, I made some little adapter looms so that we can go wideband each side. Um, so this ECU is far superior to the Den. So as you can imagine, it's like 20 years newer. So what it does is opens up a whole realm of um, extra features, other bits and pieces you can do. Still keep your cruise control on the steering wheel, got all of that working. Instrument cluster is all working. I've got, don't get me wrong, it's not finished yet. I've got a couple of little bits and pieces to do. I haven't tuned the car yet properly on a dyno. So um, I've got battery charging to do. It's charging, but I've not got the warning switched off on there and I've got to sort the air conditioning out. Um, other than that, we're pretty much ready to give it a full tune, um, bolt it all together and start messing around but i just thought you guys might be interested because it's got some cool little features um it properly brings it into the you know the 21st century really we can and we can look for all the data on our telephones via bluetooth no problem at all um i don't know whether that's relevant to you or not but being able to look through diagnostics and falcos just just you know from something in your pocket is is a great feature as far as i'm concerned so yeah everything everything in the dashboard is working we've got temperature gauges and oil pressure and all of those things um like i say i've still got sort of bad the abs lights on because i've just been uh, it's just been spinning up but um yeah so we've got most of the can structures resolved um the, the benefits of this are um it doesn't really care what gearbox you put in there as long as you have the can structure so that you can program it same as the engine actually you could just horse whatever you want in there and have all the instruments working as they should we can see all the wheel sweeps we've got traction control working we can adjust the traction control we can have variable levels of traction control you could even adjust the traction control via the the buttons on the steering wheel if you didn't want to use cruise control you could even have a switch to flip between two um it's just real interesting i think just being able to sort of upgrade the car to sort of be a bit more modern anyway um yeah like i say i just thought you may may be interested to just see something that's going on that may be a bit different to something you've seen before but yeah just um yeah like i say follow our pages if you like just to keep up with the projects and see what we're doing we try to keep everything nice and interesting and stuff that people haven't done before i've not seen one of these before i've seen plenty of piggyback stuff but nothing fully standalone that's got integration with the car but but yeah we're, we're pve and we're doing this for swallows racing so um yeah hopefully you find it interesting